M's unfiltered, authentic, credible, genuine, with Emma Brain. So here we are with another episode of M's Unfiltered with me, Emma Brain. I hope you're doing well today. And I want to talk about one of my favorite subjects. And it's the thing that drives us all absolutely crazy, and that is social media. And at the time of filming this video, I am actually taking a bit of a hiatus from Instagram purely because I'm stuck. I'm not as sure what to do with this platform anymore. I'm getting stuck with my content creation. Um, I'm getting stuck with a few other things and I'll go into that a little bit later. But one of the things that I think probably upsets me the most with so many social media platforms is the sheer lack of people just being themselves on them. And I like to call it ACG. Why can't people be authentic, credible, and genuine what is wrong with showing your real life self and I've had people actually say to my face oh em you're a bit too outspoken you have too many opinions on things you need to calm it down uh, you're too open you're too honest about things and people have actually sat there and said to me em you just need to be quiet and look pretty um, excuse me excuse me right now that's not, have you met me <laughs> that's just not me but it begs the question why are people so scared to just be themselves on social media why are they so scared to let their vulnerability show to let their struggles show to have discussions about these things i don't understand it because isn't that what makes us all human aren't those things the things that people would engage with the shared experiences the things that we can all relate to keyword relatability the things that we can all connect to so why do people why do so many people want to hide this that is a thing that i really really don't understand at all um, and i think more people do need to be honest and open and i feel like people have different personalities across different platforms i know i do twitter is where salty salacious super opinionated say what i feel me lives <laughs> amongst with some worky stuff thrown in linkedin is obviously professional me where work me lives promoting myself instagram is kind of like my personal blog stroke work portfolio that's where that side of me lives tiktok do i even want to talk about tiktok tiktok is kind of where i've had to change my content strategy so many times on tiktok because i just don't know where it goes and i have the most followers on tiktok but how do i say this in a way they're not the followers that i want so it's a case of altering my content to attract the followers that I want. And speaking of followers, you see how we connected that and slid straight into this topic. Followers, engagement, oh my God, why? Why are people still buying followers? I sit there and I genuinely question everything. I've seen people go, yay me, congratulate me for hitting this milestone amount of followers. And I'm like, yeah, you just went and bought them all overnight. It's so obvious when people buy followers, it's obvious. And then they get stuck into this trap of they buy the followers. So then they have to buy the likes to make the engagement reflect that. Then they have to buy the comments to make that reflect the other side of it. Here's the thing, brands and companies, the majority of the time will do their due diligence. If they see you're buying followers, why would they work with you? You don't have any real engagement. You, it's not a thing. And, and, and I have to wonder about the mentality of people that buy followers. Are they that insecure that they have to have the validation of bots and fake accounts to be a number on a social media platform to make them feel good about themselves? I don't, I don't understand this at all. I really don't, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. 
um, elsewhere in the world and just the conversations that I've had in um, marketing conferences and speaking to people within the industry, they're now absolutely shifting towards the nano and micro influencers. So these are people with up to 10,000 and up to 50,000 followers. Why is that? Because they have built a community of genuinely engaged followers. They engage with their followers. How can a person with a million followers actively engage with them? Can't it's impossible. It's not possible. Whereas these smaller influencers, these smaller accounts, they have a community. It's active engagement. They're talking directly with the people that follow them. And therefore, because it's a small community, their followers trust them. It's all about trust. Trust, credibility, genuine authenticity. Let's get that in the right order, M. Authentic, credible, genuine, ACG. Why are people not getting this? Um, it's di definitely starting to happen in other territories here in the UAE, in the Middle East. I think we're very behind. We're very, very behind on this. Um, will it catch up? I don't know. Many people here are still stuck on the whole numbers. Numbers don't mean anything if you don't have any active engagement. Um, it seems very, very strange to me as to why people would do that. Um, but yeah, social media, it's, uh, and we live too much of our lives on social media. And I'm hearing more and more people say they're literally culling all the excess accounts only following people who they genuinely find interesting that bring value to their lives. And I think that's what everybody should do. Do the accounts that you follow bring value? Do they offer something to you? Yes or no. If no, why do you follow them? Even if they're your friends, it doesn't matter if you unfollow them. I go, that's, that's nice. You're my friend. I speak to you on the phone every day. I don't need to follow you on social media, but you don't post anything. So why am I going to follow you? It makes no sense whatsoever. Um, it's just, I think we have to rethink how we do social media and it needs to become more authentic, credible and genuine. And it has to. And this is why people are having so many struggles with it. Everything they see is very vapid, very superficial. It's not real. So many things edited. So many people I see their lives on social media are 100% not the lives they live in their daily life. It's like a projection. It's almost a projection of that's the life they want to be living. Fine, if you can do the whole manifestation thing and all the rest of it. But why are you scared to show your actual life and what's happening to you? And I just think we need to be more human about it on social media. So I've definitely taken a break from Instagram for now. Um, I'll be back. I'll sit down and work out what I want to do with it. I think I will literally just keep it as a personal blog and document the things that are important to me, um, the things that I go through, and maybe others might relate to that. I know there are people that relate to it because every time I post certain things, they're like, oh, so, so glad this is the engagement. I know that. I get the validation. I know that. I just need to work out how I'm going to do more of that and kind of keep it work-based as well. So I hope you found some interest in this video. By all means, please do leave me some feedback in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to cover on social media. I'd love to hear your take on it. I'd love to hear your take on social media. So let me know. Oh, and I forgot Facebook. I didn't mention Facebook. Does anybody actually use Facebook anymore? Until next time, it's M's Unfiltered. Yeah.